everything Chris everything Chris everything Chris everything 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 Chris everything Chris everything Chris everything everything Chris Um, so the seven up signing, how did that all come about? And what made you choose seven up? I've known Len for since I was maybe four, maybe fourteen, I think. I've known Len, um, and I've he, he's coached me before. I think when I was under the under twenties, was either under twenties or under eighteen, um, with England. And when I came back from Toledo the first time, so I was I came back and I came with an injury. So I was deciding okay. whether I was going to have surgery or not. Um, and I went to the game. They were playing at 0-2. And it was um, it was 7 Oaks against Nottingham, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And he told me, he's like, oh, like, you know, we need to talk. And if you're staying, like, we just, you know, general conversation. He's like, what are you doing next year? So I had already decided I was going to go to Nottingham because um, I was going to have the surgery and, I wanted to do my masters up there because they have a good business school. So yeah. um, I'd already decided I wanted to go to um, Nottingham, but I always had in the back of my mind that after my masters, I was going to see maybe like what I wanted to do. And um, but Seven Oaks would always be a place that I would go, like because it's closer to home, and I just kind of love. I've always loved like their culture. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's always yeah. been like quite a family. It's, it was like kind of similar to. Herringay and that like it's a very like close-knit club like everyone is very close so if I was going to play for anyone it would be like Seven Oaks so my when I had the surgery coming back my first our first year out of college I just you know it was, it was hard for me in that I wasn't playing as well I was trying to just find myself again as a player and there were a lot of things I was doing you know coming off my college career I, I was I think I was playing kind of my best basketball and then to have surgery, it kind of like set me back a lot. Like I'd yeah. gone away. That was just like, I wasn't as confident as I was. Um, so yeah, I was, I spoke to Len um, at the end of the season when I was with Nottingham and then, yeah, I decided I was going to go play at Seven Oaks and just, I thought it would just be for me just trying to find myself. I think it was a yeah, good yeah. environment for me where I could, kind of figure out, you know, get comfortable again and um, gain my confidence and stuff. I felt like it would be a good group to do that with. Um, and I know that they would push me. So that's how I decided um, I was going to play at Seven Oaks. Yeah. Okay, okay. Was there, any, was there any other teams that you had in mind other than not in the Man Seven Oaks or was it just them two in particular? So I know I was talking to Newcastle at the time. Um, yeah, that's up but, yeah, it is. It was. It is far for me and Oakland um, but that was about it at the time I was thinking because I I didn't really want to go overseas at the time because I wasn't playing well and I wasn't like confident in myself so it would only be like somewhere in the UK that I was looking to play anyway okay okay, okay. Yeah. cool cool and then you know going into seven notes yeah the, you're going into a winning culture and some success there so talk yeah. to us about playing with the vets of the likes of T and Cat, how do they help you add value to your progress? They're just, I don't even know words to explain. <laughs> like, cause uh, they're, I feel like they're two, they're two different, like, they're two of the same people, but they're different in that, you know, Cat is so, it's like she's vocal, whereas I feel like with T, she only has to say like one thing to me and I get it, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Whereas Kat is really intense, but it like that fires you up. But T is she just she says the little things and it's just it's just they mean a lot. Like she doesn't yeah, yeah. say too much if that makes sense. So playing yeah. with them has just been amazing in that I feel they just allow me to be me and like I don't know, we just bounce off each other so well. Yeah. And, yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's hard to explain. Like, it's, it's been a crazy, like, crazy two years because I think I still have a lot of growing to do. Obviously, I'm not perfect, but, like, 
I've just been pushed by not just Cat and T, but just as, as a team as a whole. I think we all push, push each other so much. Like the practices are so intense, um, and I just think we make each other better. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's been amazing playing with with with, with Cat and T though. And how has it felt that you know they've trusted you to sometimes take the reins at times? I can see that they've done that with you seeing that you have become MVP a few times, how has that played a big role in your in your progress? I think... I don't know, you know. Like, it's, it's weird because I think with, with Seven Oaks, it's such a diverse team in that everyone's a scorer and it doesn't matter. It's not... There's not a game where it'll be like, oh, you, you stop this person and this person won't score. Like, yeah. It's like everyone that, that on the team from the bench, whatever, everyone can score. So I think just that in Mad. itself is why I'm, 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 I feel like I'm able to do as well as I've done at, I've done at Seven Oaks because it's like you, you don't know, you have to stop somebody. And if I not, they can't guard everyone, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that opens up so much for me. And it, like, if they're guarding me, it opens it up for Kat. Renee's had like amazing shooting games, like Jules, just everyone across the board. Yeah, yeah. I think we all like, it's just hard to guard everyone, you know? Because <laughs> usually you can stop two people, three people, and then, you know, you're okay. But with us, it's like, you stop Kat, there's T. You stop T, there's me. You yeah. stop me, there's, there's Renee. Like, it's just, be an... it's just That'll confuse. List. Yeah, it's just a list of people. So it is hard to guard. And I think that's why I think everyone does so well. Not just me, but so many people have had, like, great seasons um, at Seven Oaks because we all are able to play our game and, you yeah. know, them guarding someone tight opens out for someone else. So I think that's what's helped my development. It's made me more confident because I know, okay, like, if she's being guarded, I'm going to take the shot because I know yeah, yeah. you need to. And if I'm being guarded, then someone else is going to come step in and, you know, take those shots that we need to win. So it's just whatever it takes to win for us. Um, I Definitely. think we've been doing, yeah. And I had your coach in here not long, not, not long ago as well. Like, what's he been like in terms of... Um, um, as a coach and how he's helped you get better as well yeah he's like do you know he's been so patient because I'm not the easiest person to deal with I'm very like I'm very opinionated I'm very like strong in how I feel but I think he's been so accommodating of just how I am as a player and, and what works for me um, and just trying for us to just meet halfway and like me understand him as a coach so I've learned a lot in it in the two years that I've played for him um that you know you just have to find what works and I think it's understanding people yeah. and then accepting who they are and me accepting who he is and so I think he's he's been great you know like he's so honest and in games you know he gets anxious and he'll get like real intense but sometimes I think you need that to fire you up fire you up yeah. and, and get you going so I think it's been good like he's been a good coach yeah, just pushing us, you know. He never really wants us to relax. You know, yeah, some yeah. coaches, you know, like some coaches may just be on the sidelines and they're quiet, but he's never quiet. He's always yeah. going to call. And if he feels that we're relaxing a bit, like he wants you to always go 100, like 100%. Like even if there's a lead, it's like you can always do more. And that's what I like about him. Like he's never satisfied. And that's good because you, yeah, yeah. like, you want, you, he always wants more. Keep pushing. And that's what you need. Yeah. Because like, okay, everyone, you could easily be like, oh, like you've won however much they've won in, you know, however much years, and you've won this amount of games, but it's like, that's never enough. Like, we need to do more. Yeah. So, that's what I like about him. There's always, like, there's always another level. Shout out to coach, shout out to coach. And you're yeah. saying your hard work, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so there's some confirmation there. Yeah, I like there's that. some confirmation. <laughs> I mean, you know. Uh. It's not easy to deal with me, but I am. <laughs> Everything, everything, everything Chris, everything Chris, everything Chris, everything, everything Chris. Everything, everything Chris. Uh.